What's up? Good looking. Hey, it's Liz Trenier, and we are rolling into the fall, so let's talk beauty. My favorite thing. First up, we need to prep that skin. This is a canvas, take care of it. You only get one of them, so you gotta treat it with respect. Put all of the creams on your face. No, actually, I just, I'm just skin obsessed, so that's what I do. First things first, pie. So this is the perfect balance serum. It's um, a blemish serum, so listen, nobody has perfect skin. Nobody walks around with a constant Instagram filter all over their face. Right? So you gotta prep it. So this one is like a really nice serum. You just need one pump. And what you can do is you can directly apply it to actual like little blemishes, or you can do what I do and just cover your whole face with it. Kind of circular motions is nice. Your pores are gonna be thanking you for the hydration. They thirsty, honey. It smells really nice too. And bonus, it's vegan. For all my little vegan friends out there. You know in the morning when you have your morning cup of coffee just to wake you up, give you your caffeine fix? Well, guess what? Your face needs it as well. So, Desium came out with this amazing caffeine solution and it's basically to take away puffiness, kind of wake up those eyes and make you not have that like, oh, it's, it's Monday morning, I got the Monday blues. It looks like a Thursday night and you're ready to go out, honey. It's a couple little drops. It's got kind of a jelly texture and you can put it underneath your eyes. Ooh, it's silky. Next up, you gotta moisturize that skin. So Kiehl's came out with this super multi-corrective cream. It's anti-aging, it's moisturizing, hydrating, and most importantly, my favorite part is that there's SPF 30 in it. So you don't have to like apply sunscreen on top of it. You just put on your moisturizer and you're good to go. But please, for the love of Jonathan people, protect your skin. The sun ages you. Newsflash. Ooh, the baby's feeling moisturized. Lastly, you gotta prime that skin. So just like you would prime a wall before painting it, you wanna prime your skin. So it will help the makeup go on smoothly. It'll also kind of fill in fine lines. And trust me, it'll last so much longer throughout the day if you already have a primer on. This is the Desium High Spreadability Fluid Primer. It's highly spreadable, just like butter. Put a little bit on your hand. Ooh, this is silky. Ooh, I wanna put this all over my body. I get dry patches sometimes or chapped lips, and this is my lifesaver. This right here is the 8-Hour Cream by Elizabeth Arden. Your grandma probably used it when she was growing up or still uses it but it is magic. So basically, it's kind of like a jelly consistency, but I promise you, by doing this on a dry patch or on your chapped lips, you will thank me. It'll take like a day to get those chapped lips back to Hydration Nation. So I just like to put like a little bit on, and it's really good for when you're, while you're prepping your skin before you apply your makeup, just to make sure everything is ultra hydrated and ultra primed. You really don't need this much. But the good thing is, you can use it on your elbows. You can use it on your calluses. It's basically good for your entire body. Now that our skin is prepped, shall we get to it? The makeup. We want to get that canvas built properly. But like my makeup artist says, you can't build a house with bad tools, so you can't build a good canvas with bad brushes. I know cleaning your brushes, it's a pain in the butt, but your skin will thank you. Not only are they nice and clean for the makeup to go on smoothly, but they're also not building bacteria because deep in these little things, if you keep building makeup on it and dirty brushes, bacteria grows in them and then your pores will be really mad at you. I always start off with my concealer because I wanna cover up blemishes or dark spots and then I use my foundation. So I like to use this um, Select Cover Up from MAC and then when you apply your foundation, you can blend it all together. It'll work. Got some friends over here that are coming to visit. Jeez. I'm not like super precious about it. I just kind of slap it on. For foundation, I'm gonna be using the Air Flash by Dior. Now listen, if it's good enough for Bella Hadid, it is good enough for Liz Trenier. First things first, shake it. Then I take my flat brush and just kinda get in there with the paint. 
and you start painting. Circular motions, just like when you were coloring as a kid. Always start with a little bit of product and kind of see how much I need because I don't like to waste product, especially when it's Dior. I don't like to overcover my face because I want to show my freckles. So there she goes, foundation nation. So next up, we're gonna contour. And with contouring, it's good to use a fan brush, but don't worry. If you don't have a fan brush, you just take a basic all over brush like this, you take a bobby pin and you slide it over top like this. And I know it may look silly that you have a bobby pin at the tip of your brush, but look at that. It's like totally fanned out, it's amazing. So I'm gonna take my MAC bronzing powder in Refined Golden. And I just like to lightly do it like this, get some color on and really build on the color. You don't wanna like go ham and like go all on right away. You don't wanna dig into the actual powder. You just wanna like lightly brush it, get some color on the brush and then just kind of follow your cheek, cheek lines. Go underneath the cheek, kind of building out where you wanna put it. And then after you, you'll blend it out. I also like to do up here, only because I saw Kim Kardashian do it one time. I don't really know why I do it. Next up, we gotta highlight that face and highlight those cheekbones. So you are gonna start off with the RMS Beauty, and this is in Living Luminizer. And I actually, sometimes what I do is I take the end of my makeup brush and just dig out a little bit, just like that, and just place it on the back of my hand. And then I just warm it up with my finger, just so it kind of has some smoothness and it will go on nice and creamy. I like to go down my nose, just, you know, accentuate it. Now that my luminizer is on and I'm feeling nice and glowy, I want to put some pop on my cheeks. So this is the Bobbi Brown Blush in Slopes, number 17. I apply it to my cheeks, just to give that like soft, Ooh, it's cold and my cheeks are all nice and red. Lastly, to give the finishing touches, I'm gonna use Skin Finish by MAC. So this one is Double Gleam in Extra Dimension Skin Finish. You're gonna get in there with your blush brush and just apply it where you put the cream luminizer. So I just go right along the cheekbones, right here, right along the nose line, a little forehead action, just a little dabbing. And I always love to accentuate your lips because you know what I mean. Put right here, Cuba's bow, right at the bottom, and we're good to go. J-Lo Glow, what do you think? Okay. And that, my friends, is the end of our base. Let's move on, shall we? So I know everybody wants full brows because it's still on trend, but some of us, have baby blonde brows and patchy brows. And so we need to really fill them in. This product I've been literally using for like 10 years. It's MAC Fling. I'm obsessed with it. It's the perfect ashy blonde that I want for my brows. Because a lot of blonde eyebrow pencils have like some, some like warm colors to it. And I don't want strawberry blonde eyebrows with like blonde hair, it just doesn't make sense. So make sure when you're shopping for your, your eyebrow color, you get the right color for your face, your skin color and your hair color. So much work. So I love this one that they just came out with. This is now the new eyebrow styler. I've just switched over to this, but I love that they added a brush so I can actually brush along my brows and make sure they're nice and fanned out so I can follow the way the hair grows. Because not all of us were given Cara Delevingne beautiful brows. All right, filling these bad boys in. I don't know about you, but like every day, if I don't have my eyebrows on, I feel naked. It's just like leaving the house without an underwear on. And our faces aren't symmetrical. My eyebrows aren't symmetrical. That's just how the cookie crumbles. Don't worry about it, embrace it. We wanna keep that natural look going and not just so crayoned on. So I always like to use a brow gel. Now this is the Brow Gal. Um, it's just a clear water resistant brow gel that will help 
these eyebrows stay in place. So it's not gonna add any color, but I just like to kind of coast along this, just to kind of build that base. Shape where I want them to stay. They're nice and fluffy and good. And then if I have little touch-ups, I just go back to the fling and I just finish up, fill them out, and they should be good all day long. Okay, good? So when I wanna do like a smokier kind of fall look, I think the most important thing is picking your colors. The palette I'm using today is by Lime Crime. It's called the Venus XL, and look at all of these beautiful colors. Drool. They're all so gorgeous. And I know that like the bright pinks are really intimidating, but don't be intimidated. I'm gonna show you how to like work through this palette. So I'm gonna take just a basic blender and I'm gonna just do some coverage all over my lid. Starting off with Idolized, like this. I'm just gonna go. And I know it's intimidating, but don't worry, it's gonna blend all out. And immediately you can see what I'm talking about with the like burnt orange color kind of contrasting with my green. So nice for fall. Um, then I'm gonna take the blank canvas just to kind of balance it out, kind of neutralize it a bit, kind of so it doesn't feel so like. I want to kind of build that crease, so on the inner eye, so I have those like popping eyeballs. So I'm gonna use Aphrodite because I love the name, but I also love this color. It's like a burgundy. So I'm gonna just take some of that. Actually, I'm gonna use my slanted brush. Get right in the crease. So the key with this is you're gonna keep your eye open while doing it. Some people like to close it, but I don't. I like to keep my eyes open so I see exactly where I'm framing it. Ooh, it's a lot more pink than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, we're rolling with it. Done! No, I'm not. Just so once you've blended it all out, I mean, I just kind of play around with it. There's no like right or wrong way to me. And so I kind of just like keep zhuzhing it until I feel like it's right and it's feeling good. Note that Lime Crime is super pigmented and you probably don't need as much product as I put on my face, but we got there, we're good. Oh, you want me to do it again? I'm just kidding. Uh, so then I take like a little tiny brush like this and I wanna kind of pull it in under my eye. I don't like closing my eyes off completely, so I always just use like the outer third and just to kind of tie the whole eye together to give it that kind of sexy, like elongated look. So I'm gonna take a bit of the Aphrodite and a bit of the Idolized and tap, tap, tap. Again, you don't need much because a little bit goes a long way. Go like that, and then kind of shift it in here. Just pulls the eye together. Next, I'm going to take my MAC Double Gleam, just to kind of pull the face all together, and I just want to pop it in the middle. So kind of like, if I just go right, right here, it just gives that eye that like pop when you look at it. And then I just go along the eyebrow arch just to give it that little pop there. Let's talk eyeliner. Now, eyeliner is tricky. It's intimidating, especially when you're using liquid liner, but that's okay. Like everybody struggles with it. Even if you're the prost of all pros, I don't care. You can't be perfect. So I use the Brush Black by MAC. It's just easier. It's kind of like a pencil crayon. Like it's really, it goes on really smooth. It's really slick. It's not too wobbly. So you're not gonna go like, whoop, got an error. It's not gonna be looking like you're going through the country back roads of Canada and trying to do your eyeliner on fleek. Don't worry. All right, just filling in all the little holes. Looking pretty good. What you think? Lastly, let's do the mascara. 
I love this YSL volume effect waterproof mascara because again, you never know when your eyes start running, have a midday cry. So I just like to shimmy it out, wiggle it out. If you're into eyelash curling, you can curl your lashes before the mascara. A final zhuzh of the face. Get the Lime Creme palette back out. And I just wanna, again, tie it all in. And make sure everything is looking great. You dig? Camera one, camera two. Camera one, camera two. And there you go. The eyes are done. You digging it? I love MAC lip liners. This one is Soar. It's a staple in my kit. And I always start off with my lips. I kind of frame them, just like everything else I've been doing. You always want to frame whatever feature you're working on. So take my little palette, all right? And I just take and usually go along the, the outsides just lightly. I kind of gradually go like this. I also love when my lip liner is super sharp, just so I can get that precise line. I actually end up kind of filling in all of my lips with a lip liner first. It's almost like a primer to make sure that your lipstick lasts longer. I'm living for YSL lip colors because they smell good, they last. They're great and the colors are awesome. So this one is number seven and it's called Tattooge Couture Matte Stain. And it does what, just that, it's like a tattoo on your lips. It stays so long and if you're like me and you talk too much, you need your lipstick to stay on. So as you can see, it kind of goes on pretty creamy, but it dries in like under a minute, really nice and matte. It just helps the application go more smoothly. Right? Is that okay? Lastly, to finish off those lips and make them pop, I just add a bit of my favorite Skin Finish from MAC and I just put it on the top of the cute as well, right there. You can actually put like a little bit in the middle too, like there. It's a little gloss, a little shine, and then just underneath. It just really like makes your lips look nice and pouty. And there you go, luxurious lips. We're finishing off the look with hair. Now this is Narcisco Rodriguez Hair Mist and it's in Amber Musk. What is hair mist? It basically just makes your hair smell amazing. So when you go to give someone a hug or you walk by them, they're like, dang, she looks good, but she smells good too. So you take your hair out. Give it a quick little brush. And I like to spray it just underneath. I mean, it's been in a ponytail. It needs a bit of zhuzhing, but you just take this and you spritz. I like to go underneath. And then it just kind of follows through. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Mm. Wow. Oh, gosh, it smells, mm, that smells really good. Just trust me on this one, okay? I smell really good. All these products and so much more in store and online at Hudson's Bay.